Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Ready, ready? Yes. Okay. Let us do it now, please. Okay, let us see. Hello, Don Herman de Jesus. How is it? Good evening. How is it going? Pardon? How are you today? How do you feel? Uh, very, very cansado. <laughs> very tired? Very tired. Very tired. Tired. Very tired. Okay. Mucho trabajo. A lot of work. A lot of work. Demasiado trabajo. Bien, Mauricio. Bien. Demasiado trabajo. Sí. Okay. Cuénteme cómo está el clima en su área. Acá está iniciando a llover otra vez. Pues ahorita aquí sí está lloviendo. Un poco suave, pero está lloviendo. Sí, aquí viene llegando ahorita. Esperemos que no nos afecte para poder culminar la sesión con éxito y así poder este, finalizar un día de atraso nada más el día que tuvimos el problema de la energía. Ok. Primero Dios se calme la lluvia. Ojalá que sí. Ok, ya tenemos a doña Ana Elizabeth Sánchez con nosotros. Silvia Patricia, Mauricio Alfredo, Juan Pablo, Irma. Desde luego a doña Antínora y Elmer Joao González Flores. Okay, we are ready to start now. Even though that we have only us eight people in the class. But uh, maybe we are going to start making a review about the previous class. 
posiblemente vamos a iniciar con un repaso de la clase anterior. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Uh, let me tell you, yesterday I had to leave the, the class because it was raining so hard. And my connection uh, was, no sé, interrumpida. Interrupted. Interrupted. Okay. Every second. Okay. So today, is, today is raining again, but not so hard. Yeah, it's, it is in, it is saying here, uh, it is starting to rain now, and I hope that the power can keep in order that we can finish the session and that we can learn something new about the languages. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the topic that we are going to study today. It's going to be this one. This is class number 17. And the topic for today is how to use there is and there are plus quantifier. That is the main topic for us. And uh, we are going to talk about it today. And in order to start, uh, I would like to give you some time in order that we can make a review about the previous class that we have started. Tenemos entonces en este momento el espacio para poder hacer un repaso de lo que hemos estudiado el día de ayer. And as soon as we finish the review, we are going to start with a new topic for today. Just try to remember what we talk about. And then we can continue with the class for today. Lo que usted se recuerde, sí. Puede ver sus apuntes y darme algunas ideas, posiblemente alguno de los compañeros que está no estuvo ayer. Eso le va a ayudar a recordar o a entender de qué estuvimos hablando, si es que no ha visto el vídeo. Ok, and all ears. ¿Quién inicia? ¿Quién inicia? Preposition in, on, at. Ah, we talk about preposition, okay. Y I remember that I told you, me recuerdo que les dije que iban a resolver algo. Ajá. Ajá, okay. Thank you, Irma, por refrescarnos la memoria. Okay, so Maria. Alguien más? How to use it preposition or place? How to use preposition or place, okay. Uh, and some example, who wants to give me some example? Uh, she is sitting on a chair. Okay. Okay, Cindy is coming, Cindy is coming too. Welcome, Cindy. Glad to see you again. No, ya el micrófono no está fallando otra vez. Cindy, no puede ser, no puede ser. Hi, Peter. Ah, okay, hoy sí. 
me regresó, me regresó. Ya no quería verla frustrada una vez más. Así no me molesta, Joao. Y véalo, véalo cómo se ríe, vea cómo se ríe. Para que vea cómo es de malo. Ah, uy, bueno. Ustedes sabrán. Naomi. Ok. Lo que pasa es que cuando no quiere participar, hace como que se le daña el micrófono. Ah, ese es el viejo, el the old trick, es el viejo truco, ¿no? Eso es lo que él cree. Ajá, se están descubriendo cosas. O sea, que... como quien dice, el que las usa las imagina, eso es lo que le está diciendo. Ah, ya ve. <risa> el solo. <risa> el solito. Ah, bueno, entonces ahí podría aplicar aquel otro que dice que el pez muere por su propia boca. <ríe> bueno. Ok, uh, let us start now. We are going, we are making a review about the previous topic. Estamos haciendo un repaso. And I remember that I told you to resolve some sentences. Me recuerdo que les dije que resolvieran algunas oraciones, que hicieran una captura. I don't know if somebody did. No sé si alguien lo hizo. Veamos quiénes fueron los niños aplicados que cumplieron con la tarea. Let me see. I don't see anyone. No veo, no veo nada claro. Okay, uh, at, at least try to give me some example using uh, in, on, and at. Alguien que quiera darme algún par de ejemplos, como usar, para estar seguro que sí quedó claro el tema. Solo uno a la vez, porque si hablan dos, eh, no se puede oír muy bien, más la lluvia. Así es que, por favor, try to do it. What is the question, teacher? It's not a question. I have an example. It's not a question. What I'm asking you to do is just to give me some example related with that. The preposition that we started. Okay. Do um, you have some example? Yes. Okay. Could you share with us, please? She, she is in the garden. Okay. Within. And the cat is on the table on the table. Okay, what else? Que más? Yeah, cell phone is at the window. Okay. It's raining again. Well. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? What else? What else? Tell me. The meeting is at the second floor. Okay. Somebody else?
Vamos, vamos, vamos. Traten de recordar, por favor. ¿Qué más? Hola. They live in Guadalajara. They live in Guadalajara, Guadalajara, ok. There are a lot of examples, but that is what I want to hear. Eso es lo que yo quiero oír. The window is at, at the wall. The window? Is at the wall, <coughs> wall, pared. It's okay. Okay, pregunto a los demás. ¿Cómo, qué piensan de esa oración? Será at? ¿O no será at? No, is, the window is... In. Ah, será in. The wall. Because that, I think, is for, like, a place. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Alguien más piensa diferente o piensa lo mismo? Hello. Para mí tendría que ser on, on the wall. Ah, ah, ok. ¿Cómo, cómo sería la oración? Te vas, te vas. Te vas. The window is on the wall. Ah, ahí está. The window is on the wall. Ah, ah. Bueno. ¿Cómo decir sobre? On. Ajá. On. Y sobre. Ok. Ok. No more examples. Ya no hay ejemplos. No. The apple is on the table. Okay. It's okay, teacher, if I say my bed is in the room. My? My bell. The ring bell? You are talking about the ring bell? Bed, bed, comma. Ah, my bed. Bed. It's, uh -huh, it's okay. My bed is in the room and I am on my bed. I am on. Yes, on. On my bed. On it's my okay. Bed. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Are you mass? Are you not? No? No? Okay, let us. Uh, the cat is 
on the box. It's on the box. Okay, in lo que les paso la lista, piensan en otros ejemplos. Ahorita mismo. Bueno, en la descarga vamos a avanzar un poco. Eh, ¿Qué pasó con mi cámara? What's going on with my camera? Ah, oh. it is there. Ok, I already got the, the attendance. Ok, ya tenemos. Alexander Vladimir. Present. Ah, justo, justo en el momento, don Alexander. Ana Elizabeth. Present. Ana Lizeth Pérez. Pérez, Pérez. No, Pérez. Eh, Ani. Present. Okay. Eh, Brian Ernesto. Me compartió en el chat de que no se podrá conectar porque todavía está hablando. Sí, sí claro. Cindy Elizabeth. Present. Ahí está, Cindy. Cruz Ángel López. No, pero ya no se ha conectado el taller. Quizás no le dan los datos. Eh, Dinora. Present teacher. Thank you, Elmer. Present teacher. Germán de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay. Irma Guadalupe. Present teacher. Eh, Jonathan Ernesto. Es otra persona que todavía se encuentra elaborando también, teacher. Sí, pero le ha tocado duro porque no tiene asistencia. Está así. Juan José. Juan José. No. Yeah. Juan Pablo. Presente, teacher. Mario Roberto. No. Mauricio Alfredo. Present teacher. Silvia Patricia. Present. Fátima El Carmen. Christian Anderson Melissa. Bueno, solo tenemos 12 personas. Well, let us do it now with the people that we have. Okay, I'm going to show you this. Voy a mostrarles eh, un reading. Hubiese querido hacerlo en, en la misma presentación, pero no me lo permite tener las dos cosas para, para tener la letra un poco grandecita. Necesito tenerla y mostrarla justamente acá. Uh, I invite you to take a look at the picture. Les invito a que miren la imagen, por favor. Identifiquen todas las uh, la cositas que pueden en la, en la imagen. Y cuando tan pronto la tengan, pues me van avisando, porque vamos a comenzar a, a leer. Take a look at the picture, guys. 
Tell me, what do you see in the picture? Díganme, ¿qué ven en las imágenes? Cualquiera de ustedes puede decirme uh, what I see in this, what I see. Okay, who wants to do it? Uh, the children, the children uh, are on the floor. Okay. Sí. The computer. The radio. Okay, what else? The radio. I'm here. I'm back. Um, bicycle. A uh, pencil. Not a lot of things there. I need that you identify it. What else? Come on. I can see a pant, a table, uh, a clock, or what? Watch is a. Watch, okay. Watch. Uh, a gift, okay. a lamp. Else, there are a lot of scenes there. Picture, yeah. Uh, bowl, uh, a bolt, a window, map, book, books. Okay, you have it there. What else? What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Basurero, ¿cómo se dice? Dice. Trash can. Trash can. Okay, okay, thank you. To bed. Ah, to bed. Okay. One shear. Okay, what else? Bicicleta, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Bike, bicycle. The bicycle is in front of the bed. This is a tricycle. Teacher. Hello? There is a, there is a, how do you say triciclo? Yeah, three, three cycle. Three cycle. Yes. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más encontramos? The radio it's on the the mueble. We no call them How do we call them Pincel, teacher. Pincel. Ah, okay. What else? Okay, let us start reading because the main point here is the reading that we are going to have. Okay, take a look. I'm going to read it for you and say, hello, my name is Karen, and this is my bedroom. I shared it with my brother, Peter. In this picture, we are on the floor. I'm reading a book. I like reading. My brother is drawing. He loves drawing. My bedroom is big. The walls are painted in yellow, and the floor is green. OK. Ojo en lo siguiente. There are two beds, a desk, and two shelves. The desk is between the two. The desk, I'm sorry, the desk is between the two beds. It's behind us. There is a computer and a camera on the desk. My brother's dad is next to his bed. There is a ball on his bed. 
My notebook is on my bed. My brother's recycle is in front of my bed. The bin is between my brother's bed and the desk. Do you like my bedroom? Okay. No, oh, it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you say disaster? Uh, in, in a better way, you can say it is a mess. Mess. Yeah, it is a mess. It's a mess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. Even the, the, the word we can use it uh, when we talk with somebody that is not doing everything right. We say that word too. También podemos usar esa palabra cuando falen cosas mal. Okay. Okay. Try to read it and identify all the difficult words and ask me. And I'm going to help you to pronounce the word. And later on, you are going to read it. Y luego vamos a leerla. Bueno, la lluvia ha reciado más todavía. Pero la energía no se ha visto afectada todavía. Esperemos que no suceda. Ok, who wants to read it? ¿A quién le gustaría leer? Mi teacher. Antes me gustaría saber si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta. Esta palabra, teacher, donde dice, it's begging, 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 begging. No sé cómo es. Behind, creo. Ajá. Behind. Behind. Ok, let me see. Yeah, ok, de esta palabra, oiga bien. Esta palabra se puede pronunciar de dos formas. Behind. En mi caso, yo me acostumbré a decir. Uh, I, I can produce the sound in two different ways. Behind and behind. Y ambos son correctos, pero el más americano es behind. Behind, behind you. Behind. Teacher. So? Shel shelves and, uh, es que no sé cómo se... Cómo... Shelves. 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 Yes. ¿Qué, qué, qué significa eso? Shelves. Niños. Perdón. No, no sé si es children de niños. Shelves. Hay dos. Observe que hayan dos. In two. No es que no. Bueno, no puedo ver la, la parte de arriba de la imagen. Ok, let me move a little bit. Vamos a moverla un poco para que la pueda ver. Ahí está. Ahí está. When we talk about shelves, we are talking about this one. I don't know if you can see my mouse pointer. No sé si puede ver mi mouse. Yes. Okay. ¿Qué es esto entonces en español? No sé, en español no sé, repisa, no sé. Ok, ok, se lo dejo de tarea. Ahí le queda de tarea. Ok, Elmer, comienza a leer, por favor, Elmer. Hello, my name is Karen. And this is my bedroom. I share it with my brother, my brother Peter. In this picture, we are on the floor. I'm reading a book. I like reading. My brother is driving. Driving. He loves driving. My bedroom is big. The small. The walls are painted in yellow, and the floor is green. There are two beds, a desk, 
and to share this the text he is beating the to bed is behind use there is a computer a camera on the desk my brother's back is next to to his his bed there is a ball on his bed my notebook is on my bed my brother's recycle is in front of my bed the bean is between my brother's bed and the desk. Do you like my bedroom? Do you like my bedroom? It is a question. It is a question, sir. Do you like my bedroom? And you have to pronounce as a question. Okay, para los que están con dudas, se los voy a leer una vez más. Dice, hello, my name is Karen and this is my bedroom. I shared it with my brother Peter. In this picture, we are on the floor. I'm reading a book. I like reading. My brother is drawing. He loves drawing. My bedroom is big. The walls are painted in yellow and the floor is green. There are two beds, a desk, and two shelves. The desk is between the two, uh, the desk is between the two beds. It's behind us. Behind that, there is a computer and a camera on the desk. My brother's back is next to his bed. There is a ball on his bed. My notebook is on my bed. My brother's recycle is in front of my bed. The pin is between my brother's bed and the desk. Do you like my bedroom? Okay. Can lay, can lay, can lay. Me teacher. Okay. Okay, hold on Hel a second. Como ya no necesitamos la imagen, voy a, a tratar de hacerlo. Espera. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. okay. Hello, my name is Karen, and this is my brother. I share it with my brother, Peter, in the in this picture, where are the floor? I'm reading a book. I like reading. My brother is drawing. He loves drawing. My brother is big. The walls are painted in yellow and the floor is green. There are two beds, I decks, and two shelves. The desk is pretty to the two beds, it's be behind us. There is a computer um, camera on the desk. My brother back is next to his bed. There is a ball on his bed. My notebook is on my bed. My brother tricycle is in front of my bed. The B is between, between my brother bit and the decks. Do you like me, my bedroom? Bedroom, 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 Ok, tree cycle, tree cycle. Tree cycle okay. Cuando sea bicicleta, es bike o bicycle. Si es motocicleta, motorbike, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Es vehículo, vehículo. Y así sucesivamente. Means of transportation se llama el tema relacionado a eso. Bueno, ok, let me choose someone. Voy a elegir a alguien porque algunos no quieren leer. Ok, Ani. Usted me está levantando la mano. Ahorita, por favor, adelante, Ani. Yo sé que usted quería leer, pero dijo, no, no me llaman. El teacher, ok. Sí, sí. Hello, my name is Karen. And, and this is my bedroom. I 
char it with my brother, Peter. And this is the current. We are on the floor. I'm reading a book. I like reading. My brother is reading. He loves reading. My bedroom is big. The walls are painted in yellow and the floor is green. There are two beds, a desk and two shelves. The bed is between the two beds. It is bedding, bedding us. There is a computer and a, and a camera on the desk. My brother's flag is next to my brother's. My brother's flag is next to his bed. There is there is a ball on his bed. My notebook. My notebook is on my door. My brother tricycle is in front of my bed. The wind is between my brother's bed and the bed. Do you like my bedroom? Okay. Okay, and the last one is gonna be Sylvia Patricia say to know if you choose Sylvia. Okay. Ella también me estaba indicando, me decía, me, me, I want to read, I want to read. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Hello, my name is Gary, and this is my bedroom. I share it with my brother Peter. In this picture, we are on the floor. I am reading a book. I like reading. My brother is drawing. He loves drawing. My bedroom is big. big. The walls are painted in yellow and the floor is green. There are two beds, a desk on two, two, Shelves. The desk is is between the two beds. It is behind use. There is a computer and a cam camera on the on the desk. My brother's back is next to this bed. There is a board in this bed. My notebook is is on my bed. My brother's Three, three, six. Cycle, three cycle. Three cycle is in front of my bed. He being is between my brother's bed and the desk. Do you like my bedroom? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, bueno, yo sé que los demás no leyeron, van a leer más adelante. Uh, we need to make a switch. Vamos a hacer un cambio. Before we need to go forward in our topic. Okay, we are ready. Okay, we are going to talk about this now. Hold on a second. Ya hicimos el review. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. Yo, algo que distorsionó. Ok, los que no participaron, como Mauricio, eh, Don Germán, son los que logro ver ahorita, eh, ¿quién más? Cindy, Irma. You are going to answer one of these awesome classmates where the workplace is located. For example, if you ask uh, Cindy, 
Could you tell us uh, where your workplace is located? Cindy, se levantó. Bueno, no está. Ya regresé. Ya le pusimos fire. Pusimos fire. No. Que pusimos fire, sí. Mm, triste. <laughs> ok, the question is where uh, your workplace is located. Uh, my work is in San Benito. Okay, in San Benito. Okay, thank you. What about you, uh, Alexander? Uh, my work is located in the capital of San Salvador. Okay, in the downtown area, in the center? Yes, in center. In the downtown area, see, as yes, downtown area. Uh, Juan Pablo, what about you? Hi, teacher. <clears throat> As some classmates, where the workplace is located? Where, uh, you, okay, where my... your workplace is located, sir? Okay, teacher, uh, the workplace where I work is located in near of El Salvador del Mundo. Uh, close to El Salvador del Mundo? Mm, will be across to. Okay, but it's not concentric, it's, it's a... a, a... There is something, uh, a call center. It's not a call center, right? Hey. Por ahí un call center, bueno, hay varios. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay, thank you. Let us continue with the next slides. Pause of the time. Okay, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the pattern. We are going to practice this conversation. I'm going to read it twice. La voy a leer dos veces. Luego usted trate de identificar todas aquellas palabras que considere difíciles. Cuando ya las tengamos claras, eh, usted va a hacer la práctica con alguien más. The conversation is between Will and Tanya. And this, this is así. Hello, can, I, can, can you help me? Where's the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Y le dice, Tania, don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? Y le dice, Will. A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Ahí está. Okay, try to repeat, try to repeat. If you want, uh, let us try to do it in this way. Open your microphone if you want. Traten de abrir sus micrófonos si pueden. Veamos a ver si no. La voz de todos. No, 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 había. Por ahí hay Mauricio, tiene un feedback. Alguien, I don't know. Okay, try to repeat. Hello, can you help me? Hello. Hello. Can you help me? Can you help me? Hello. 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 Can you help me? Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. 
I don't I leave her. her. I don't leave her. Oh, no, no, no. Please, please. I don't leave don't her. Leave her. I, I don't, don't leave, leave her. Don't leave her. Here. La última palabra es here, aquí. Here. 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 Sí, here. Una, una J, here. una I, una R. Here. 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 Ok, continuemos. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. There are. There, there are. There are. Four buildings. Four buildings. Which one do you need? Which, Which one, one do you need? Vamos a disperso. Escuchemos todos al mismo tiempo. A girl told me. A girl, a girl told me. Told me. A girl told me. To go to the building. To, to go, go to, to go to the building. building. On Main Street. On Main, on Main, Main, Main Street. Street. I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. It's down the street. It's down, it's down, down the street. street. On the left side. Thanks. 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 Otra vez, es una feta, no es una T. Thanks. Thanks. Para producir sonido Z, se pone la punta de la lengua entre los dientes superiores e inferiores y se pronuncia el aire hacia afuera. Thanks. 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 I have, I have to ask you something else. I have to, I have to, have to ask you something else. No, 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 something else. Something else. Something else. Else, else. Is there a training center? Is there, Is there a center? training center? Is there a training center? There are, there are a lot of training centers. A lot of training centers. Training centers. On the building between Main and Street. On the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. I have, I have some interviews, some interviews, there. interviews there. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you again. Bye-bye. Again. Bye-bye. 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 Ok, bye -bye. ahora lo leo de nuevo solito. Cierra el micrófono. Trate de identificar palabras complejas. Y cuando ya las tenga, eh, me van diciendo para poderles ayudar. Okay. Any questions so far from here before we go to the breakout room? Alguna pregunta hasta acá antes de irnos al breakout room? No. No. No questions? No question. No. Ah, okay. A la hora que se entiende entonces, que leérmelo muy bonito. Muy bonito. Hagan una captura, por favor, entonces. Ready.
Ready, ok. Bueno, tenemos 12, al menos aumentó uno, pero ya no pasamos de ahí. Quiero llegar al, al número 20, pero es difícil. I don't know why. No sé por qué los grupos anteriores. He tenido 21, 22, 23. Y hoy eh, tenía asignados 24 con los oyentes. Y al final, M aquí, señor, mire cuántos me han quedado. I don't know why. ¿Qué estará pasando? No hay día, no hay día. Ok, bueno, sigamos adelante. Hagamos seis equipos. Ya los tengo. Cualquier coincidencia con la persona que les corresponde, la máquina lo hace aleatoriamente. No mi. Bueno, en la conversación creo que cinco minutos son suficientes para hacerla. ¿O crees que es muy, o es muy poco el tiempo? Muy poco. Ah, ok. ¿Cuánto, cuánto necesita? ¿Cuánto cree? Una media hora por lo sí, menos. Bárbaro, señor. En toda la hora que nos falta y lo decimos mañana. No, 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 no. Let us try five minutes. Probemos cinco minutos y luego veremos. Ok, acepte la invitación, por favor. Nos ha quedado analizé, acepte la invitación y Juan Pablo. Ok, thank you. Right now they have the conversation and they are practicing. So we need to wait for them in order that they can practice in front of the class and they are going to show. Their skills.
Okay, welcome back. We are going to start now uh, practicing from the class. Try to speak clearly and naturally in order that uh, you can feel free to speak. Bueno, después que entramos a un breakout room, cuesta que algunos se incorporen otra vez a la sesión principal. Hay una demora de un par de segundos. Ok, en lo que llegan los demás, recordarles también que estamos ya próximos a la finalización del módulo. Nos quedan prácticamente tres sesiones. Día jueves, viernes y el día lunes hacemos también la encuesta de satisfacción de cómo usted se sintió durante el módulo. Eh, posiblemente y por viernes le va a llegar un correo electrónico con las instrucciones de lo que deben llenar. Les pido que no lo vayan a hacer antes, lo vamos a hacer juntos el día último con las instrucciones que se les van a ir brindando. De preferencia para ese día que se haga la encuesta de satisfacción, eh, me gustaría que lo hiciesen desde un computador ya que hay algunos datos que habrá que copiar y pegar y desde el teléfono a veces es más complejo. Así que ya les voy avisando tiempo para eh, lo que vamos a hacer. Si les llega el correo antes, por favor, no la vaya a hacer. Eso tenemos que hacerlo juntos y con las instrucciones necesarias. Ok, welcome. Let me choose. I'm going to choose someone. Voy a elegir a alguien que va a iniciar con su compañero o compañera que le correspondió. Bueno, Juan Juan no estuvo en la conversación, creo. Pero ya se incorporó. Bien llegado. Eh, eh, Don Juan José. Buenas noches, teacher. Aquí. Okay, welcome. welcome, sir. Welcome. A pleasure to see you. Activado. Sí. Fire. On fire. <laughs> On fire. Estaba topado el Constitución, entonces no, me costó bajar. Yo vivo acá en Nejapa. Ah, ok. Nejapa Power. Next to the Nejapa Power. Y me chocó todo ahí. Ah, ok. Okay, okay. Let, let me show someone. Okay, Alexander Vladimir, will you start with the conversation with somebody? Hello, teacher. My partner is uh, Anna. Hey, Anna. Go ahead. Okay. Eh, va a poner la, la, la conversación o la leemos desde la, desde la captura. It's up to you. If you want, I can, I, I can show you. Ustedes quieren, se les puedo mostrar, pero me gusta estarlo viendo cuando... Done. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, thanks, teacher. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, can you help me? 
where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings which um, do you need? Ahir told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it is down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May um King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you. Again, bye bye. Okay, thank you. Hey, Alexander. Hello. Choose, some, choose someone from your uh from your screen. I de los que vea los nombres que elija uno por favor. Uh, Silvia Patricia. Okay, Silvia Patricia, you are the one. Silvia. Oh, Silvia. Silvia. Hi. <laughs> Bye. 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 Partner. Partner. Okay. It's is Juan Pablo. Okay, go ahead with Juan Pablo. Uh, okay. I am Will and Silvia Istania. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the buildings between May and Kim Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Hello. We have a we have a question. What uh, I don't know if what is the meaning of building, building, construction, edificio. Building. See? Si? Yeah. Edificios. Okay, thank you. Silvia tenía, quería decir algo así. Sí, la misma pregunta. Oh, the same, the same, okay. The same. The same, okay. Okay, Silvia, tell me, uh, give me a name. Pass okay. Name. Um, así para que no digan, no, es que solo él los elige siempre. Los mismos. Mauricio. Okay, Mauricio, where are you? Bueno, Mauricio. ¿sí? Este es el, con Dinora. Yes. Okay. Yes. Hello, can, can you hit uh, with his dead mailbox body in the light? Hit it. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which ones do you need? I I give to me to get the bullet on main strip. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thank I have to ask you submit is is there a tri center? There are a lot of us training centers on the building between Main and Kin Streets. I ha I have some in in inter in their buildings that take John I have by by
finish. Okay, thank you. Give me a name. Give me a name. Oh my God. Anida Mali. Okay. My partner is Mr. Perman. Yanni, what's your partner? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I I I will and um, and uh, you Tanya. Okay. okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the neighbor building? I don't live here. A girl told a girl told me to go the building on Main Street. Yeah. Thanks. I had to ask you something else. Is there a training center? I have something interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Next teacher. Just someone. Mm -hmm. Elmer Joao. Hello, hello. My partner is um, Anna. Yes. Hi. Anna Elisa. <laughs> Anna Elisa. <laughs> okay. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Don't worry, they are for building. Which one do you need? I hear to me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center on the building between May and King Street. I have some interview there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, another name. The next. Ya, ya, no sé quiénes no han participado. Mi teacher. Do it, do it, do it. My partner is Cindy. Yes. Mm. Hello. Um, hello. <laughs> okay, 
Dale, pues. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't like here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? I give told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thank. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training center of the building between my and Killing Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Alguien falta? No? Anybody's missing? Bueno, ya se parece que todos participaron, ¿cierto? Ok, I'm going to read the last time. Lo voy a leer así que corrido para que se... Pueda oír cómo sería ya en una conversación. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? The girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know. It. I know. It. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I had to ask you something now. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kinney Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bueno, ahí está. Okay, let us continue then with the questions. We have three questions related with this uh, conversation. Read the conversation again and answer the, these three questions. How many build, Melbourne buildings are there? Number two, where is the building uh, where Will wants to go located? And number three, how many training centers are there? Where are they? Okay, I'm going to give you some minutes so that you can work with somebody else. Voy a dar un par de minutos para que puedan trabajar con alguien. Eh, bueno, tenemos 13 personas. En uno van a quedar tres. Vamos a rehacer las parejas para que no digan que quedamos las mismas. I'm going to give you quedaron en las mismas eh, no. okay I'm going to give you five minutes in order that you can answer these questions Here we go.
Okay, here we go again. Aquí estamos otra vez. Let me show you the questions. Okay, we have three questions. How many male birds dozen are there? The answer is, uh, let me see who wants to answer this one. Alexander Vladimir, could you give me the answer from question one? Puede darme la respuesta de la pregunta uno, Alexander? No, it's not there. Okay, Juan Jose, Juan Jose, what about you? The answer for question number one. Hello, teacher. Eh, no les alcancé a terminar, pero de la primera, no sé si solo decir for o, o agregarle algo más. Yeah, denme la respuesta como. Eh, está bien, está bien for. Okay, how many build, uh, mailboard buildings are there? Bueno, sí, dejémoslo así ahorita. For. Okay. Lo correcto sería decir there are four. There are four. There are four. Okay. 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 Question number two. Where is the building where we wants to go uh, located? Veamos a quién. Vamos a elegir a alguien. Bueno, Cindy Elizabeth, la número dos, por favor. It's down the street of the left. Okay, where is the building where we want to be located? Repeat. It's down the street on the left. Oh, it's down the street on the left. Okay, on the left side. Okay, thank you. Number three, how many training centers are there? Where are, where are they? Esta pregunta es para... Let me see. Annie, your turn, Annie. How many training centers are there and where are they? Cuántos centros de entrenamiento hay y dónde están? Based on the, the information that I show you, basada en la información que les mostré, te me dice. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you very well. No, no le pude oír muy bien su respuesta. Vamos. Ah, no la hizo. No. Okay, don't worry about it. Somebody that answered it. Alguien que la respondió. Que nos dé la respuesta. Me, teacher. Okay, Dinora. There are a lot of training center on the building. Okay. And where are they? There are between Main and King Street. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, cost of the time in order to continue, I need to show you something that is related with the topic that we had to study today. We already start talk, uh, talking about this. Let us talk about there is and there are. Ok, así rapidito en español, el significado de there is y there are es hay, con la diferencia que este es singular y este es plural. 
Otra vez. El significado para ambos significa hay de existencia. Eh, teniendo en cuenta que voy a usar there is para singular y there are para plural. But let me show you my presentation. Okay, take a look at this picture. There is and there are. Let me see if I can get bigger this one. Veamos si podemos hacerlo más grande. Okay, there is, there are. Okay, alguien que me lea el ejemplo uno, por favor. Necesito cinco participantes. There is a car in the picture. Okay, there is a car in the picture. Let me see. There is a... Okay, ahí está there el car. Is a hospital in the picture. Okay, there is a hospital con J. There is a hospital. There is a hospital. In the picture. In the picture. ¿Qué estamos diciendo ahí? Que hay un hospital en la, en la, en la imagen. There is as I. Recuérdense. Ok. ¿Alguien más me lee el siguiente, por favor? Hello. Ok. Lo leo entonces. Dice, there is one helicopter. There is one helicopter. Ah, hay un helicopter. Ok. ¿Alguien me lee las dos últimas? There are four buildings in the picture. Last one. There are eight trees in the picture. Ok, ahí hay algo importante. Vean los colores. Observen los colores y eso les va a dar una idea. es plural agregar es ok Okay, entonces dice, there are four buildings in the picture. There are eight trees in the picture. Significa entonces que voy a usar there are cuando tenga nombres en plural. Y voy a usar there is cuando tenga nombres en singular. Ambos dije significan hay. Hay cuatro edificios en la imagen. Hay eh, ocho árboles en la imagen. Veamos. Ahí está. You can see. I don't see the helicopter. And I don't know if you can see it. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más? Veamos. What else do we have? Okay, take a look at the picture. Take a look at the picture. Dale una miradita, por favor, a la imagen. There isn't and there aren't. Este ya es como pues, eh, negativo. ¿no? Vamos a verlo de una vez, aunque no... Okay, the example said there isn't a car in the picture. There isn't, listen. 
There isn't a person in the picture. There isn't a dog in the picture. There aren't buildings in the picture. There aren't cars in the picture. There aren't people in the picture. Entonces, ahí estamos diciendo que no hay un carro. Estamos diciendo que no hay edificios, que no hay carros, que no hay personas en la imagen. Talking about this picture. Okay, let me see the time. Okay, I need to hurry up. So, si puedo acelerar el paso. Okay, entonces ese sería el negativo. Solo agregamos N apóstrofe T para ambos. Para hacer, ya sea is o sea aren. Preguntas. Preguntas. No question? Hello? No, teacher. No preguntas? Ok, bueno, sigamos. Si no hay preguntas, mejor todavía. Ok, take a look, take a look at the picture. Mm, bueno, esta parte no es tan básica, pero la vamos a ver acá. There is a bridge in the city. There are some houses. Hay algunas casas. Uh, there are some trees. Hay algunos árboles. Como son plurales, estamos usando los cuantificadores aquí. Uh, there isn't a hospital in this city. No hay un hospital en esta ciudad. There aren't any skyscraper in this city. There aren't any restaurants. In this part of the city, no hay ningún restaurante en esta parte de la ciudad. What's going on here? Bueno, esta sería ya como la forma de hacer la pregunta. Ahí solo hacemos el cambio, la forma del B pasa al inicio y luego. Eh, usamos el there. Is there a bridge? Yes, there is a bridge. Is there a car? No, there isn't a car. There are two cars. Bueno, veamos el material. Vamos a detenernos acá. Y vamos a compartir parte del material para que podamos eh, Ok, here we go. Este sería lo del material Here we go. Here we go. My goodness. Okay, I got it here. I guess uh, how to use there is and there are plus quantifiers. Lo que ya expliqué, there is a singular and there are is plural. The example uh, that I can give you is there is an uh, ATM across the street. Do you know what is the meaning of uh, ATM? ¿Sabe el significado? Del ATM? No, no. 
como cajero okay. automático. Es Aromatic Teller, Teller Machine. Aromatic Teller Machine. Ese sería el acrónimo. Okay, another example is there. There's a recruitment center on the corner of the Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Ahí también estamos diciendo de que no hay. Ahí no, no. Miren, there's no clothing factory around the corner. Ahora veamos la parte plural. There are a lot of companies down the street. There are some supermarkets on the right side of the street. Or there are no hospitals on various streets. No hay hospitales. There are no hospitals. Ok, pregunte por favor de algo que no comprenda. Ya le dije el significado. En la última, la contracción del there is, there's not, there's no, puedo usar el there isn't. There isn't. Yeah, we can use it. Okay. En la última teacher que dice, there are no hospitals, eh, no se podría usar, there aren't. There aren't hospitals on various streets. Sí, es posible que sí, pero eh, recuérdense que estamos, eh, bueno, en la parte más básica, ¿no? Eh, y para hacer una negación también podemos hacerlo así, there are no hospitals. Instead of saying there aren't. Porque ahí entonces habría que usar the RNMI hospital, que es la forma que yo les mostré allá. No hay ninguno. Y aquí de una vez hace la negación y dice: There are no hospitals. Para no repetir. Ok, cost of the time, let me see the time that we have. Ok, veamos entonces el ejercicio 5. Complete the exercises with there is or there are in a quantifier. Ok, realicemos por favor este ejercicio.
Okay, let me see what you have. Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, let us see if you, if you resolve number one. There is. There is. Marketing, there is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay. Read again. Leala de nuevo y ve a ver si siente que le falta algo. There is the, the marketing presentation. Okay. There is one marketing presentation. Vea lo que usamos. Los determinantes pueden ser and. And, ajá. Entonces, en este caso sería como. There is an marketing. Entonces, y así. There is a. Ok, what about number two? Veamos el número dos. Business workshop down the street. Y ahí tenemos el cuantificador que sería son. Eso le está diciendo cuál vamos a usar. There are. Okay, ¿Cómo sería? There are some business. There are some Business workshop down the street. Ok, perfecto. Veamos el número tres. Tenemos no. Y la palabra que tenemos es recruitment centers. ¿Será singular o será plural? Singular. Mm. Plural. Plural centers. Ah, ok. Entonces va a decir... They, they, there are no recruitment there centers. Aren't. There are no, ahí tenemos ya la palabra. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Mm -hmm. Así de fácil, no sé. Ok, number four. ¿Cómo sería el cuatro? A store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. No. There's no. There's. There's no. There is no. A store on the corner. Será así? O no será así? There is no store in the corner of Roosevelt Street on Second Avenue. Okay, sí. Porque el store es singular. Okay, number five. Banks behind the factory I work. Positive or negative? No tengo no, entonces es positivo, pero ¿qué voy a usar? There is or there are? There are and some. Hello? There are. Ok, va a decir. There are. And. There are banks behind the factory at work. Hay bancos detrás del edificio donde trabajo. Detrás de la fábrica, perdón. Y eh, la número 6, que aquí tiene, que es número 1, pero no Aranza Building Around the Corner. ¿Sí?
¿Cómo sería? The... Pronounce a building around the corner. Esa es como una marca, un aranza building. There is. Y entonces, there is, there is. Ah. Ah o an. An. There is an. ¿Por qué? Porque la siguiente comienza con un sonido vocálico. Ahí están. Hagan una captura, por favor. ¿La tienen? Yes. Bueno, nos quedamos con la actividad que teníamos que hacer. Que era create conversation with a pattern describing the places that are around the building in the camera. Bueno, vamos a borrar esto. Ok, vamos a hacerlo así como rapidito, como usando there is y there are. Uh, en el lugar donde está usted, trate de describirme eh, qué es lo que hay y qué es lo que no hay. Si hay eh, alguna cosa sola, va a usar there is. Si hay varias, va a usar there are. For example, I can say in this room, uh, there are two computers. There are two sofas, one there, there is a, one desk, there are two windows, there is one door, y así. Ok, alguien que me diga, por favor. There are pencils. Ok, Silvia, Silvia, más fuertecito que le estamos viendo. Ahí, there, ahí. There are pencils. Ok. Teacher, yo tengo una confusión. Yeah. Este, cuando, no logro entender cuándo es que en una oración se usa el a y cuando el a, por ejemplo, en there are pants, porque no se usa a. Bueno, voy a regresarme a esto. Eh, déjenme ver. Vaya. Cuando yo tengo, no sé si me está viendo lo que yo quiero mostrar. Sí. Voy a regresarme. Por ejemplo, aquí voy a usar an. Cuando el sonido que tengo después... Es, inicia con un sonido vocálico. Por ejemplo, there is an ATM. Pero cuando es un sonido de consonante, entonces voy a usar A. There, there's a recruitment center. Si, por ejemplo, lo que yo tengo es una manzana, ¿Cuál voy a usar? ¿Voy a usar A o AN? A. Mm, Pero ¿cómo comienza la palabra manzana? Apple. A, apple. Es, uh, comienza, and. comienza con un sonido vocálico, entonces por lo tanto va a decir AN Apple. ¿Ya? Yes. Y, y si... Y en la oración, sí. there are pants. Y si, por ejemplo, quiere decir usted un piloto, piloto es pilot, ¿o ¿cuál usaría? ¿Usaría A o AN? A. A pilot, sí, porque el sonido pilot está con, con sonar. Ah, ok. ¿Aclarado su duda, sí? Yes, thank you. So, bueno, hemos pasado un minutito de... La hora establecida, voy a pasar la lista. I'm sorry, pero a veces hay que aclarar cosas. Alexander Vladimir. Alexander. Present. Ok, thank you, sir. Ana Elizabeth Sánchez. Present. Pérez. 
Ravi. Present. Yeah. Ani. Present. Brian. No. Cindy Elizabeth. Present. Okay. Present. Okay, okay. Cruz Angel. No estuvo Dinora. Present teacher. Elmer. Present. Eh, Germán de Jesús. Present. Irma. Present. Okay. Jonathan. No estuvo. Juan José. Juan. Present, present. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Okay. Juan Pablo. Present, teacher. Mario Roberto. Mauricio Alfredo. Present, teacher. Ahí está Mauricio Alfredo y Silvio Patricia. Tenemos un total de tres. Uno, dos. Ok, estamos bien. Bueno, por lo menos terminásemos con 15, no sería tanto, pero así tan poquitos, no, no sé, no sé. I don't like it at all. No, 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 no. Bueno, eh, vamos a hacer algo, como solamente hay, como, bueno, ya dije, 13 personas. Desde mañana, déjenme ver. Sí, desde mañana temprano. ¿Quién eh, desee que le comparta eh, algo? Solo me escribe inbox, un mensajito y me dice soy fulano de tal. Porque, eh, bueno, no puedo estar eh, pegando material ahí en el grupo así sino que solamente va a ser para los que se han esforzado. Entonces, si usted eh, desea el materialito que le voy a, a brindar, solo me escribe un mensajito y ahí con usted que lo voy a, a compartir. Ok. Bueno, y el, este sería la clase número 17. El número 17 no se encuentra. Mario Roberto Solís Aguilar. Bueno, perdió el 1-1. I'm uno. sorry. Ok, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. No preguntas. No. Ana, Ana Lizeth. O Silvia. No. No, teacher. No, ok, teacher. thank you. Good night and take care. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. Bye.